I think this film is so powerful because it gives us an excellent tool for understanding what the science has known for at least 20 years, which is that children's early experiences have an impact on their long-term life. And if those early experiences are full of fear and stress, then it changes your biology in a way that it is more, your whole biology is stressed. And that causes illnesses in adulthood. We're a group of women, and mothers and grandmothers, that got together to talk about our problems with our children or the children we're bringing up. And we all face different problems, but we share those problems and it helps. They've come through that, that supporting relationship with, with children first and they really got empowered and encouraged to think about how could their experiences and their voices help influence the way that other organisations respond, the way that communities come together and try and change the system to make things better for other people. That was incredibly powerful and also hugely inspiring uh, because as one of the contributors said, sitting listening to that, you do get a sense that a massive discovery has been made and if we do the right things, we have it within our grasp to change things and change things really fundamentally. A number of people have talked about this study across Scotland for a lot of years now, but somehow that has not produced an ACEs revolution because that's the fancy name that's now used for is adverse childhood experiences. What's fascinating is that this film has. So I think it's a very powerful tool. In an hour, you understand the science and you understand its importance. The film moves people and it helps us to think we need to do something about this. And you think about it, we spend millions, worldwide billions of pounds and an awful lot of effort in trying to stop people smoking, cut down the amount of alcohol people consume, improving people's diets because we believe that that's the way to solve heart disease and, and cancer and some other preventable or, or reducible illnesses. And I'm not saying it's wrong to do these things because these things are bad for our health. But when you watch something uh, like the film we've just watched, you realise that many of these things are in themselves symptoms of much deeper and more fundamental problems. If we put relationships at the heart of every single one of our public policies, we would solve a lot of our social problems really quite rapidly and we would prevent it continuing and we're only five million. We could do this if we really believed it. The issues in the film are more widespread than some people might think. I know from my own experiences that when you're preoccupied with issues in your head, you can't focus on your family and the people who depend on you and your problems can be projected onto them so it really can affect whole families. <coughs> I think we need to radically transform our medical, sorry, our mental health services and think more about personalised care. We need to look at ideas from other places in the world where emotional and mental health are much better. People need to be able to trust so-called professionals enough to say that they've messed up or they've relapsed and not feel badly judged or worried about having social, mental and addiction services working and taking their kids away. People can help themselves when showing the tools and giving the right support. It's not just about preventing help and helping traumatised children, it's about helping families and carers as a whole without being intrusive and judgmental. We make sure that all of our staff get access to those messages, to the science of connection and relationship, to make sure that it's not about what you do to people, it's about how you are with them. It's not about doing to or for, but it's about doing with, getting alongside people, hearing their stories, respecting those stories, understanding what's happened, and moving that shift from what's wrong to what's happened, and then really empowering people to get the the, the, whatever it is that they need to change their own lives, their own, their own power to be released, their own voices to be heard.